Yo, yo, today we're going to be looking at uh, the firmware update on the FX4CR. This is a SDR HF transceiver uh, that I got a few months ago and have had a little ton of play with it, but um, I have realized that there's not a lot of people out there that have a video on how to update the firmware. So we will be going over that. All right, so to update the firmware, we're going to hop over to the desktop here. Now I'm running Mac. Um, so this is going to be for Mac, but it's not too different for Linux, nor is it different from Windows. So we're just going to go to FX4CR update. We're going to search that in Google, and then we're going to go to this BGF or BG2FX website right here. We're going to scroll down, and here are the two current firmwares for the FX4CR. Okay, we got the Latest is uh, as of 2023, 1126, or we can go the version 2022. So we're just going to hit download on the newest version. Now, I'm not going to do that because I already did that, all right? Now, once you hit download, let's go ahead and scroll down here to the PDF viewer, okay? Now, we're going to scroll down to firmware, which is right here under 9. It's a firmware update. It says important, plug the USB cable on the FX4CR side first and then plug it to the computer side. Unplug the USB cable on the computer side and unplug the USB cable on the 4X side in the reverse order as the first time. Be sure to follow the entire sequence closely to avoid damaging to your computer. Uh, you can't see it, but out of screen here, I'm just gonna unplug. I'm gonna plug this into my, this is the cable it comes with. We're gonna plug this into the USB port right there, the yellow one. I'm gonna plug that in. I got my power battery bank ready to go. Plug it to the computer side. Unplug the cable on the computer, all right? And then unplug FX4CR in reverse order. We're gonna plug it all back in again. I don't know if that really makes a difference or not, but hey, that's what the instructions say to do, so let's do that. Be sure to follow the entire sequence closely to avoid damage to your computer. Okay, before we continue, let's head over to the ST STM32 Cube programming software. So just click on that link. So here we are on the STM32 Cube programmer software for all STM32. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down here to get software. And under Get Software, I'm on Mac again, so I'm going to download the Mac one. Uh, they have it for Linux. They have it for Windows if you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit. So I want to go to get the Mac. Get Latest, okay? Once it's done, it's going to be here in my Downloads folder. And it's going to show up as this ENSTM32. Go ahead and install that. Follow the whole install procedure as you would any other program for Mac. Let's go back to our firmware update. Install and run STM32. We did that. Select USB from the top right menu. Okay, so I'm going to do my command space here and I'm going to open STM32 Cube Programmer App. All right, so install, select USB from the top right menu of the STM32 Cube application. Okay, so this is the USB portion. It says connect. Before we get any further though, this is where you have to go back to the manual. On the transceiver, start by connecting the computer and transceiver in the respect of the procedure, followed by the important por portion of that firmware update. So bef when we turn this receiver on, we are going to press and hold F on the receiver. So, and then press power and then release F. Now it says, keep holding power. Remember not to let go during the entire download process. So this is just kind of a pain right here, right? So then we're gonna jump back to the computer. We're gonna go USB, we're gonna go connect. All right, let's refresh it. Oh, there we go, okay. So since I already did this, that's why. That ports um, on the USB configuration, USB one was out of sync. So I just hit refresh and now we're should be good to go connect. There we go. So once you see the hex data file populate, you're going to go to, you're going to come to this download area, okay? There we go. File path. 
we're going to go find our downloaded file and it comes in as that 2023 1126 hex file okay we're going to tap on that guy all right and then we're going to hit start programming remember we're holding down the power button this entire time do not let that go that is the most important part okay start programming it's going to run this little system there download in progress file download completes hit ok at that point you are free to let go of the power button and then we can click disconnect just to be safe if it was up there it's not but we're we should be good now back over here on our camera i can unplug this turn that guy on we're at version 1.5 as a 2023 0825 that is how you update the FX4CR SDR HF transceiver. The only thing I don't like is that you have to continue to hold down that power button the entire time. That's kind of worrisome a little bit because if you were to bump it or slip or something and let it go, you could possibly brick your device. So perhaps in the future, the next update, it can just be a plug and play to where your computer can register this as an actual USB device. And you might be able to get some kind of drag and drop feature on there or just have it registered to where you don't have to hold down that power and function button hope this helps with anybody that has an fx4cr hf transceiver these are awesome little radios i love this thing i've gotten to play with it a little bit since i've had it uh, i just got my journal license so i'll be diving more into this in the near future but great awesome radio i know that the firmware definitely fixed a bunch of cw issues that they were having so if you're a cw guy which i am not definitely go check that out um also, if you would like to purchase one of these, they are hard to come by, but you can head over to bg2fx.com website. And these are made, from, made in China, but they are handmade by two guys, one software developer and one actual hardware developer. They are some amazing radios. So they're built with great quality, in my opinion. Uh, great looking radios, you know, solid aluminum anodized body. Got your phones, your external speaker, your mic, your antenna. On this side you got your USB, your CW key, and then your PTT out. Great, awesome radios. Love that 73 on its way out. They do run on a XT60 connector, uh, which I just have to a barrel jack going to this uh, 10 uh, talent cell, 12 volt battery back. That I, got off, that I got off of Amazon. So anyways, um, that's how you do the firmware update on the FX4CR. Thank you for watching, appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.